Okay guys, one of the most important tools, and I don't even know if I consider it a tool, but it sure as heck holds a lot of them, is your tool belt. All right, and I'm wearing what I wear on every basement finish job. I've been wearing the same set of tools for the last 25 years. All right, it's, it's important to wear your belt because you don't want to be looking for the tools that are held in this belt when you're in the heat of the moment. All right, you're going to have a thousand and one things to worry about when you're building your basement, especially if you're new. During the framing stages and the trim carpentry stages, especially any carpentry stage, you're going to need what's in my belt. So I'm going to pull out what I have in my belt, and this is what I suggest you should have stuffed into your tool belt as well. All right, now your tool belt doesn't have to look exactly like mine. This one over here has four pouches in it. All right, this is the, this is the pouch that I wear. It's got four different slots in it, and I have different tools in each slot. I don't care where you keep your tools in your pouches, okay? Everybody has an area where it's easier for them to get to it and pull things out without even looking, and you'll get more and more used to it as your job progresses. But this is a separate pouch on a leather tool belt. I keep all my tools in here except for my hammer, which is over here on another separate little leather pouch with a metal ring on it here that holds my hammer, all right? That's it. There's nothing more that I wear when I'm framing and doing trim carpentry. So let's pull out what we got. We've got the hammer. I've got a chalk box. I've got my speed square, or some might call this a rafter square. Of course, I've got my trusty Fat Max 30 foot tape measure. All right, now you could get a 25 foot Fat Max. I love Fat Max, best tapes on the market. One inch thick blade. Man, listen to that. This is one hard piece of steel. All right, this is a professional tape measure. Make sure you have a good professional tape measure. It doesn't have to be Fat Max, but it should be a good one. I've got my utility blade in there. I've got my carpenter pencil, not a regular number two school pencil, a carpenter pencil. And I've got a pair of punches. All right. Now I also have, during the framing stage, my plumb bob. All right, and you can see this is a brass plumb bob that I've got hooked to a, uh, basically a chalk box where I'm just using it to reel my plumb, back, plumb bob back into the box. All right, that's all that I'm carrying in my belt, but these are the essential tools that you need to have in your belt. All right, even though I'm using framing air equipment, and you would think, well, you don't need a hammer because you're not, you're not hand nailing. Well, every now and then, the gun won't sink a nail, a framing nail or a trim nail. So I'll grab a punch, and I'll punch the head of that nail in. All right, so I need to have a punch and a hammer in my belt. The chalk line's always in there because I'm using the chalk line to lay out all of my walls when I'm in the beginning stages of framing, as well as snapping lines on the bottom of the floor joist. So the chalk box is always coming in and out of my belt. In the, uh, in the trim phase, I'm using the chalk box to snap lines on big cabinet grade pieces of birch, maple, oak, so that I can cut through it to make the sides of my cabinets. So I'm using this a lot when I'm doing my trim carpentry as well. The speed square, always in my belt. I'm using this to lay out wall lines for 16 inch centers when I'm, when I'm framing. Uh, if I'm going to cut off a piece of wood, you know, I'm, I'm using this to draw a straight line back in my pouch. This is always, always in my pouch. This is one of the main tools you're gonna be using all the time for framing and trim carpentry. The Fat Max tape, gotta have one of those in your belt. Now why do I need to have a utility knife in my, in my pouch? Well, it's simple. Oops, I just broke my pencil point for the 50th time today. I can just quickly put myself another point back on my knife. Okay, so that's always in there. I'm also using this for stages of the job like uh, insulation to cut fiberglass insulation. And um, you know, there's other uses for it, but those are the primary reasons that that's always in my belt. All right, if I break my pencil point, I don't want to wait 10 minutes to find another pencil all right, I just want to sharpen it and keep the, keep the ball rolling. The punches I already told you about. If, we don't, if the air equipment does not sink a nail, we're using our punches and our hammer to, to sink the head of the nail into the wood. The plumb bob, again, 
We're using this extensively when we're laying out our walls. We're plumbing the lines on our floor with this plumb bob, and we're making marks on the bottom of the floor joist so that we can transfer our lines to the ceiling. Now, you don't have to have the plumb bob in your, in your pouch when you're doing trim carpentry, but always during the framing stages. All right, so to put that stuff back in my pouch, hammer in the ring, keep my uh, speed square in the big pouch, keep my tape measure in the, in the small pouch on the outside where I can always grab it quick. I keep my utility blade in the spot in the belt made for a utility blade. My pencil, if it's not on my ear, it's in there beside my knife. My punches, they have their own little slots here in the front of the pouch. All right, and my chalk box, I just drop in beside my speed square in the big pouch. And I'll keep my plumb bob in the top part of my, my belt. All right, so right now, man, I'm fully loaded for bear. All right, I could build the Empire State Building with, with the getup I have on right now. No kidding, all right? Even guys that build skyscrapers wear tool belts. Um, so as the guys that work for me will contest, and Jonathan, who is running the camera now, you can't see him, but he is one of my workers. He will tell you, Uncle Ed does not like it when we don't have our tool belt on with the proper tools in it because it wastes time. The last thing you want to be doing when you got a million and one things on your mind about the project, like I said, especially when you're new, is trying to find the essential tools that you need to get the job done. So get yourself a tool belt. It doesn't matter if it's a model like this. It could have a big pouch like this on one side and another identical one on this side. I just, for me personally, I only want to have my hammer on the right side. All right, that's the way that it works best for me. I can keep everything that I need in a pouch on the left side. But keep this in mind. If you're going to use one pouch on one side and hammer holder on the other, if you're left-handed, you're going to want to reverse this. You're going to want to keep your hammer on the side that you're strongest with. If you're left-handed, it should be on the left. So get yourself a tool belt and fill it with the right tools.